Hi, everybody. May 20th, Draw Mohammed Day is coming up. First of all, as an American non-Muslim, I completely understand why Draw Mohammed Day exists. Understanding the way our media works and our culture works, it's a perfect step, a logical step. I, you could have seen this coming, you know, to be fair to the South Park writers. They really have gone after everybody, and they were surprisingly kind to Prophet Muhammad. I was surprised. But still, they broke what many Muslims feel are some basic tenets of the faith, was not showing Prophet Muhammad's face or image. There's a couple choices. Here's choice A. Choice A is when this happens, this day, May 20th occurs, all the Muslims stand by and do nothing. More likely, most will stand by and do nothing. Some will make videos and they'll post them as a response to this. And some very small number will do something hateful or say something hateful. There isn't much you can do against something like this, this Draw Muhammad Day, because any tool that you have to try to stop it is going to act like Imagine Draw Muhammad Day is a big open fire, and your only tools really are buckets of gasoline, because there's not much you can throw on this fire other than gasoline. Rather than throwing gasoline on the fire, what Muslims could do is rather than attacking them, they can post videos and just say hello. Imagine one, if as people are looking to find these videos, instead of finding Americans who've made Prophet Muhammad drawings, they'll actually find Muslims. And not Muslims saying, eh, they're going to be saying, hi, hey, I understand you have some interest in Islam. Let me tell you some things about Prophet Muhammad. And just keep it real simple and clean. You go to the sites where people have posted images of the Prophet Muhammad, and you go down to the bottom and you say, hello, I'm a Muslim. Just want to let you know, if you ever have any questions about Islam, please let me know. And what they'll get is they'll understand the restraint and and the wisdom of most Muslims. This is the most powerful weapon you can use against this because the horse is out of the gate. The horse has escaped the barn. We can't get it back in. There's gonna be more and more of these images and if something negative happens in response to these, there are even gonna be more images and there are gonna be more unflattering, horrible things done to the image of Prophet Muhammad and it's gonna be widespread everywhere. Because, and then Americans who were not interested or even paying attention to Islam are going to be very hateful towards Islam because they're going to see what they see, even though it's a small minority, they're going to see Islam taking away their favorite cartoonists that they love and Islam stealing their freedoms. It will really not serve the Muslim community or the world or peace in any way. So I think the answer is on May 20th for Muslims to come out with a smile and address all of these people and say, hello, you have questions about Islam? I'm a Muslim. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you and leave it at that. I think that's really the only thing to do. I think that if the Muslims handle this right, May 20th could be the greatest number of conversions to Islam in American recent history because it's an opportunity where all these people are already swirling around Islam. It's in a negative way and they're making images, but they are somehow getting a little bit married and a little bit connected because they're investing themselves in an image of Prophet Muhammad. You can give them something solid and real to pin that image on rather than what they've heard. All most of these people know about Prophet Muhammad is that he's the guy that's preventing them from watching their cartoon. You can give them more than that. And I hope you will. God, I sure hope that there aren't any spoilers out there who get so angry that they end up making Prophet Muhammad Day every day for the rest of our lives. Let me know what you think. I'm the redneck, and even I know that it's Islam, not Islam. I don't know why he's saying Islam. And then, then like a week and a half ago, he says he's going on a diet, and he's going to lose weight every day. Funny how he hasn't mentioned his diet at all. You know why? He has fallen, fallen off the diet wagon. I'm a little concerned. just want to share. Have a great day. <laughs>